Ashley Ortega. Nice dominant match. Yeah. Talk to me through it. Um, you know, me and Maya Latona have wrestled multiple times. Went up the US Open, which qualified both of us to get to this tournament. Um, and she's, she's a great human. Um, with that being said, like, I've always won every match. And my whole goal every time I beat somebody is to widen the gap. Um, that just gives me a gauge as far as how much I am progressing as an athlete. And it's nothing that against like other competitors. Like we're all out here to compete against each other, the best of the best of the hardest sport. And so it's my job as an athlete, as one of these athletes in the tournament, to manage my own progression as I go throughout this. And so yeah, that's how the match went. So you know, speaking of you know, kind of not, not rivalry, but you know, you faced off a couple times. Yeah. Did that help you for an experience like this today? Oh, for sure. I mean, like. You see it like in the UFC and you see it like at nationals and stuff like that. Like this is a big stage, right? Um, and so a lot of people like kind of get the lights, the lights to take effect of them. And I've, I've been a victim of the lights before. And so again, another one of my jobs as an athlete is to get cozy in these kind of environments that are high stress, high media, high uh, volume and uh, high competition as usual. Um, and so, yeah. So. How did you adjust to those bright lights? Like, what were the changes that you made to get you comfortable? Just reps, and then also um, did my first year at coaching, and being in the corner underneath those bright lights is a different kind of like anxiety to them. Um, but I think it just helped even more so because like it was like a different perspective of me being out there, but also me being in the back seat a little bit more, but also having the reps to get acclimated to those bright lights, no matter what position I was in the sport. What is your mindset going into the next round? Fucking smell the roses. Sorry, I should have um, Smell the roses. Um, I just watched my athlete, Claire, give Mal Velti a really tough match. And the last time I wrestled Mal Velti was when I was 17. I'm 24 now. When I was 17 at like camps and stuff like that, she broke this pinky. It will never be straight ever again. Um, <laughs> but like, with that being said, the Olympic cycle is a rejuvenating tournament in a sense that it kind of shows where the old are kind of on their, the end of the cycle and where the newcomers are kind of on the end or like in the, the beginning. Whether that be like some of them are inexperienced or some of them are like ready to get after it, it just freshens up the sport again. What are your thoughts about, you know, being at the Olympic trials? My thoughts are like smell the roses and send it, fucking send it. That's it, you know, have a good time. <laughs>